and this works out perfectly so that, hey, if you don't like your existing light fixtures in your closet, go to the store, go to Home Depot, go to Lowe's, go wherever, and find something that you like. And go ahead and replace it. What a nice little touch that you can do in your closet, in a storage area, in a bedroom, in a bedroom ceiling even. You know, we've got a bedroom ceiling over here that there was a light fixture up in there, but I'm not going to reinstall it. There used to be a nice light right there. I, I've even got it. I got it down in here. See that round thing right there? That's the whole light. Uh, there's a fixture back behind there and all that kind of stuff. And I'm probably not going to reinstall it, but see, you could, you could get a nice light for there, whatever. And in uh, other, your other closets, here's a, here's a guest bedroom closet. See, same type, same type. I installed that the other day. I even installed these shelves. I don't think I made a video of that, dabbing nabbit. And um, I took down all of these wall sconces and they were electrical. And I don't think we're going to put them back up. We're going to find something else. To put on the wall but you know if you can do one light fixture you can do any light fixture basically reinstalling it these were wall sconces this one this one and then there's one there and and, and one over here and they were all connected on a four-way light switch I don't know why they did that because uh, that means there's there's three um, three different locations of where light switches are and then I think they even they might have even put a dimmer switch on maybe, uh, maybe not and uh, I'll have to look at that because I when I took those down I should have I should have uh, ran them to see if one light switch turned them all on or whatever and I'm not quite sure I just I think I turned one light switch on and some of them went on and I wasn't really paying attention and and a couple of them have burnt out bulbs and stuff and they think they're on a, a four-way uh, light switch and see, when we get ready to replace them, we were thinking maybe we wanted those two wall sconces to be on its own separate switch in there and have two different matching ones there and then have, have maybe these two matching. Or we could do different ones that, that kind of matched and stuff. And I thought, oh man, I think when we turn on the light switch, all of them are going to go on at the same time. So I should have checked that out. So there's a tip for you. When you, get, when you get ready to paint, and see, I took them all down to repaint, and I thought I was going to put them back up, like for like, and so I wasn't really too concerned about it, because they were all matching. Then Momi uh, threw a curveball and said, ah, she doesn't think she likes those. They were 15 years old. They, they look a little dated, slightly. And uh, so we're thinking about putting something else up there, okay? And so I should have I checked that out a little bit more closely, I mean, they don't they don't look bad they don't look bad see there's four of them right there and here's the uh, the mounting uh, brackets and all that kind of stuff and so I should have I should have checked that but hey don't shy away from your electrical okay check out my channel I show you all kinds of stuff I show you how to install light switches electrical outlets uh, take a, an existing electrical outlet box out so that you can fish a wire up a wall, install a mounted uh, cut-in box above behind a, a mounted TV, bring the coaxial cable down from a cut-in box down to a new cut-in box, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, taking out a single gang electrical light switch, cutting it out and putting a two gang, fishing a wire from there up to a ceiling fan, putting a two gang box in there, rewiring uh, two switches now instead of one, all, all kinds of stuff like that. You don't need an electrician for that. I'm telling you, if you just know a few basics and, and uh, you have the power off before you start, don't work on hot wires, okay? You can do it. And, and see, you might be asking, what am I gonna, what am I gonna install here if I'm not gonna put a light in there? Well, I'm gonna put a ceiling fan. I'll probably put a ceiling fan uh, that has a light kit, light head on it. And then it will be on a, on a handheld remote. So if I want the light on, if I want more light on, you know. Um, these two switches were for, uh, well, no, they weren't. I, oh, well, they might have been. Uh, I'm not quite sure now. 
See, I think there's a, there's a second set of wires up in there. And I'll bet you that one of these was going to be for a ceiling fan. One was going to be for a light. Uh, in the old days, they didn't have the handheld remotes. They had one light switch was for the light for the ceiling fan. And one was for the power for the ceiling fan. Then you'd still have to pull the chain high, medium, low, off. High, medium, low, off. Boom, 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 boom. Nowadays, you only need one, power, one, one light switch. Uh, that you have just power up there. Then you then you put this little box up in there, little module uh, sensor to a handheld remote. So if you want the light on, fine. You want the ceiling fan, fine. You want it high, medium, low, fine. You want it reversed, fine. All that kind of stuff. Because see, in most bedrooms, uh, you can have two switches here, one going up for the ceiling fan. One, usually like this, is controlled for the top of an electrical outlet on both sides of your bed, let's say. And then you plug in your, your, your lamp um, to the right electrical duplex uh, outlet, the top or the bottom, whichever one is wired that way, and your light will go on. Well, I don't think this one works that way. Let's just see. I don't think it did. I think I checked it. I think I checked it before. See, this doesn't do anything. And then even if I change it, it doesn't do anything, um, which I'm pretty sure both of these go up to uh, the ceiling fan location but see uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be installing a ceiling fan do I have do I have how to install a ceiling fan on my on my YouTube channel of course I do of course I do how to how to fix a wobbling ceiling fan how to how to install a ceiling fan light switch how to run a ceiling fan how you know all kinds of different good electrical things uh, here's a big old smoke alarm up there yes I, yes I I show you how to install a smoke detector, how to remove an old smoke detector, how to install a new smoke detector, how to test the smoke detector, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's on my YouTube channel too. All kinds of stuff that if I can do it, you can do it. And, I, and my motto is always, hey, I'm just an average Joe. If I can do it, you can do it. So I won't post anything I think you can't do. Okay, so anything on my channel, guess what? I think you can do too. All right, check it out and save your money. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos.